Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am back off maternity leave and I'm excited for today's video because I'm going to be talking about the traitors and the gospel according to the traitors. So I don't know if you have seen the traitors. Um, I didn't watch it last year but I've watched it this year and I'm really enjoying it. And if you haven't seen it, um, I don't know if you've ever played the game Mafia. It's kind of a similar, bigger version of that. So the idea is that uh, there's all these people go to live amongst each other and they do these challenges to get uh, money in the prize pot. But among them, the twist is that there's traitors, a few traitors among them that they need to find. Um, and in order to do that, they kind of make accusations against each other. But every night, well, most nights, uh, the traitors will choose one person to leave the game. They call it being murdered, but they don't actually get murdered. I don't think that would be allowed. Um, so they leave the game and the, there's less and less people as the game goes on. They either get banished because they get accused of being a traitor um, or they get murdered um, and they have to leave the game. So in the end of the game, if there's a traitor left, then the traitor gets the money. But if the faithfuls um, catch all of the traitors, then they get to keep the money um, and share it among themselves. And it's interesting because this word faithful, I don't know what that means to you, but I would say that as a Christian, that that would have kind of a strong meaning in terms of my faith. But also in the game and kind of reflected in what I believe as a church, is this kind of idea of being faithful also to each other. So the faithfuls want to share the prize, they want to win together, they want to work as a team, where the traitors kind of go for it and they want it all themselves. Um, and it reminds me a bit of the, what the church is supposed to do. So I know the church hasn't always got it right, but there's amazing work that a lot of churches do. Um, and I want to read out this bit from Acts, uh, chapter four, from 32 to 35 and I'm reading from the message paraphrase and this is kind of an idea of what the church kind of was built around and it says the whole congregation of believers was united as one one heart one mind they didn't even claim ownership of their own possessions no one said that's mine you can't have it they shared everything the apostles gave powerful witness to them uh, to the resurrection of the master Jesus and grace was in all of them. And so it turned out that not a person among them was needy. Those who owned fields or houses sold them and brought the price of the sales to the apostles and made it an offering. The apostles then distributed it according to each person's need. Wow, what an amazing thing to do, that everyone came together, they shared what they had everybody's needs were met and we live in a society where we can look around and we can see a lot of needs that aren't being met and there's uh, amazing work that's been done by food banks uh, which are all-time high and other organizations who are trying to meet those needs to sustain people to help people um, live uh, their life in this cost of living crisis in this world where you know so many things feel really hard and really difficult and perhaps our needs, even our basic needs aren't being met, but even our kind of social psychological needs sometimes also don't get met. Um, and this is what the kind of church is based upon, this idea that we all have what we have, we share, what we can bring um, can be shared and meet the needs of other people. That line in it that says, nobody was needy. What an amazing society would we live in if that was the case, that no one was needy um, and it all came from their love from God. The testimony and the brilliance of, uh, you know, the grace that they've had. Um, so it's a really exciting thing to have that sense of being part of a community who love each other, who share, who provide um, and yeah, through the love of God and through um, his help and his provision they are able to do that so I just want to leave you with that thought if you are watching the traces tonight in the final enjoy if not have a good week and I'll see you soon